Hello YouTube, this is Tyler Durden here and in this video we'll be talking about the doubling theory and time projections. As you guys already know, this concept is uh, very hyped and uh, I see a lot of people trying to figure it out and I see a lot of people trying to capitalize on that and charging a lot of money for a very simple concept. So I thought I'll do my part and uh, make it public for everyone to watch, right? So without further ado, let's get into the video. As you can see, I have uh, laid out a timeline of sorts in which I have labeled 18 uh, EST as the opening time and 18 EST as the closing time, hence the 24 hours. So I've chosen 18 or 6 p.m. EST for the reason that it's, it's the CLS open and it also uh, is the open price for 6E or the Euro rolling futures, Euro futures, right? Uh, so that's, that's the reason why I'm using uh, 6 p.m. as the opening price and I see a lot of people doing that as well and for the similar for similar reasons CLS and uh, 6 e So the idea is that you double or you half the time frame like It depends on how you look at it. So if you look at 90 minutes to 3 hours It means it's doubling or if you look at it look at it from 6 hours to 3 hours then it's halving right so if you look at 24 hours you can split it into 12 and 12 hours and you can split 12 hours into 6 and 6 and you can split a 6 hour into a 3 and 3 and so on and so forth right you can keep going but i've only done it till 90 minutes in this particular slide so what is the idea between uh, time halving or time doubling and making projections out of it right let's just say that you have a 90 minute range over here so this would be from 6 pm to uh, 7 30 pm est right so let us say price is making a high over here and price creates let's say a low over here and then the cycle is done okay so you have the 90 minute high and the 90 minute low over here right so the idea about time projections is that you extend this high three hours into the future or into the uh, upcoming candles right so from here till three hours so let's say somewhere over here and you do the same for the low so the um, high to three hours would be your sell projection and the low till the three hours would be your buy projection and you can do the same thing for three hours as well so let's say let's extend this range as a three hour range and let's say you have the high and a low right let's just add in some more price action like this then the range is over right so what you would essentially do in this case is you would double three hours into the future so it, it would become six hours so this particular high you would extend and calculate six hours from that and then uh let's say it's over here so you will have a cell projection over here and you'll do the same thing for the low six hours into the future so this is roughly the concept of doubling theory and time projections you double uh, the range the time range right if it's a 90 minute high you double it into three hours and then you get the cell or the buy projection over there and if you have a three hour high and a low you ex you extend it to six hours and same goes for 6 to 12 and 12 to 24 you get it right so let's just get into the charts and let me show how it actually works maybe if this wasn't clear i just get into the chart and i actually have just give me a second all right So I actually made uh, this indicator basically says the 90 minute high and low it starts at 18 and it goes on you know forever so let's just mark the opening price here 18 so uh, let me do uh, one projection for the 3R so if it's gonna be a 3R projection uh, if I'm gonna take the 3R high and low it has to be projected to 6 hours right so you have the six uh, sorry the three hour high over here and the three hour low over here 
right because it's two 90 minute cycles hence three hours so what i do is i take this extend it six hours so that's my first cell projection and i have the low and i would extend it six hours into the future and that would be my buy projection as you can see we made a low over here and we were and we rallied higher and we didn't really make a high the swing high was formed a little later so that's that's where distortion time distortion comes into picture right and let's do it for the next uh, three hour high and a low so you have the high you project it six hours into the future and then you have this it didn't really work out over here and this is the low this is so let me label it here this is the first three hour cycle and this is the second three hour cycle so from here you calculate six hours is somewhere over here and boom so you get another buy so two buys worked both of the cells kind of fail this one would have stopped you out and this it did work a little later so it was a little delayed so that's where uh, distortion comes into picture so this is what i was talking about you know in the uh, beginning of the video with this illustration that when you have a 90 minute high you projected three hours into the future and if you have a three hour high you projected six hours into the future and you do the same thing for six hours 12 hours and so on and so forth right let's do one with six hours so both these three hours combined would be six so the lowest uh, low of this six hour would be this let's project it 12 hours 12 12 12 12 12 12 yep and that was the buy over there and that's the six hour high six that was the cell there was a cell projection as you can see we had some time distortion it did work out later on and these were the buys from the six hour so this in essence is what time doubling and time projections are and this is what a couple of people are charging a lot of money which i feel like it's not really worth it so yeah that's why i decided to make a video out of it and put it out to the public so that everyone can have access to it and learn obviously it doesn't have you know crazy accuracy or anything maybe if you did factor in time distortion and if you knew some other concepts maybe you could make uh this is a confluence but on its own it doesn't really provide very great uh results so just to recap uh you divide the day into uh let's say like it's a from 18 to 18 you can split it into uh the sweet spot that i found is three hour projections meaning i take three hour highs and lows and then project it into six hours uh i mean six hours into the future so that's what i found it uh pretty uh let's say i'd say that's what provided decent results and from the 90 to 3 hours didn't really work out so maybe i can show you an example so let's take this one so this is the 90 minute third 90 minute cycles high and if you project it 3 hours and you have this cell over here and if you take this from any of you this was a buy but it didn't really work out because it's a low too so yeah that's that's about it that's pretty much what doubling theory and time projections are you don't really need to pay money to anyone to learn because i've made it public <laughs> all right guys talk to you guys in the next one cheers